Welcome to Nandadeep Eye Hospital. It is a center for surgical excellence and we also train many of our colleagues in ophthalmic surgery. In this video, I am going to show how to recognize that vacuum is not working as we expect. So this is one of the videos from pattern recognition series. So if you see the other videos in this series, what I'm showing in these videos is that the surgeon should be able to pick up certain patterns which are happening during the surgery so that the surgeon can anticipate or also detect what problem is occurring and can take the required corrective actions before something goes wrong or when something is not being done efficiently. So here I'm doing a surgery and as you can see here uh, that I'm trying to do the chop and uh, I finally achieved the chop by mechanical separation there but I'm not getting good hold. So it can be because of uh, I'm not uh, burying deep enough or foot switch need to be pressed more to achieve higher vacuum or parameters are set low. But being an experienced surgeon, I'm doing everything right but still it's not happening. It may be also machine related like the aspiration tubing may be loose or machine is not primed properly or there might be a problem with the phaco tip which might be blocked now. So all these factors should come in your mind after you recognize this pattern that I'm not able to hold the nucleus even if when I bury the tip at proper depth. So now I have asked my assistant to check the fittings to check the aspiration tube whether it is properly fit and also prime the cassette of uh, the machine so that I can go ahead again and as I go ahead again after priming the cassette this is what I realized that still the phaco tip is not able to hold the piece properly I am able to separate the pieces mechanically more than because of the hold over the nucleus and now once I try to pull out one of the quadrants you find that the vacuum is not actually picking up so I have set the vacuum at 700 and still it's not able to pull out the well separated quadrant from the back so there is something definitely wrong so this is something you must understand what I find is that when surgeons do not realize this in time they might go on giving more and more phaco now here the assistant is trying to reattach the tip and tune the probe again thinking that it might be some issue with the fitting of the uh, phaco tip there and that's why probably the vacuum is not being built so that's what the assistant is trying to do here and once uh, the uh, tuning and uh, reattaching the tip is done the assistant will give me uh, give me the probe again so now when I start the uh, quadrant removal uh, expecting that now at least the vacuum should build up and I should be able to clear this first quadrant easily. I realized and I noted that there is a big hole on the tip there which was unexpected. This is not what there should be and then I realized it's a broken hybrid tip in fact which is uh, placed by mistake in that uh, FACO set and uh, in usually hybrid tip it is covered by these uh, acrylic or the plastic which uh, covers this hole but here since that part is broken there is a big hole and because of that big hole basically the vacuum is not built up because all the aspiration is going on through that hole even if the there is a piece in front of the echo tip so now once i change the tip to regular tip you can see immediately the difference is clearly visible that uh, now the pieces are following and getting echo emulsified very easily and within just few seconds I could emulsify all the quadrants. So on left side you can watch that the vacuum is not working and that is something we must realize while operating. On the right side you can see when vacuum is working you can immediately pull out the pieces, you can bury, you can hold the nucleus very easily. So it's very important for all these surgeons particularly the beginners because with less experience they do not understand whether the vacuum is actually working or not at times and may lead to delivery of more and more phaco energy and might struggle with chopping and quadrant removal. So I think this is one of, one of the important videos on my channel. For more videos, you can watch my playlist of basics as well as thinking process. Thank you.